Aquarius, how are you guys doing? Welcome to my channel. This is Sela V. I hope you guys are doing very well. And um, if you guys are new, welcome. And if you guys often come here, hello, how are you doing again? Um, again, I hope you guys are enjoying this month here. Let's see what's going on with your love life. Let's see what's going on with your connections. All right, let's get a jumper for you guys. Spirit, what's going on with my beautiful Aquarius? What is their message for their highest good? What do they need to know? What do they need to know? Okay. <laughs> I'm so interested in you, is what I'm hearing. Someone's very interested in you. I feel like someone is waiting to find the right time to speak with you. Okay. Aquarius. Fire sign. Could be a fire sign. Sagittarius, Leo, or Aries here. I'm feeling like there's something that someone is still holding on to. This connection that they're still holding on to. And they're wanting a new beginning. They're wanting a new beginning with this connection. This is something that they possibly constantly think about. Very good. This person's very good at um, dressing. I don't know where that came from, but they're very good at you know what they put together okay let's see what else do we have here spirit what else do we have for my aquarius at this time despair falling apart sinking i feel like someone is feeling like you're drifting away you're not really opening up you're possibly in a place where you're avoiding them you're blocking your you're pushing this relationship away or they push this relationship away constantly all right. And now there's this energy of distance here with this masculine energy. Someone smokes a lot. OK, it could be you or your person, but someone drinks or smokes to try to um, not overthink, to try not to stress. All right. I do feel like someone has like someone thinks a lot. Someone's a, a heavy thinker here. Like they constantly overthink and they're always in their mind and you're always asking yourself, what is this person thinking about? Why are they allowing this relationship to fall apart? You guys may live in different states, different countries, but I feel like someone has been blocking the relationship. Okay, for some of you guys, you block this person, but even if you did, this person's still watching you. This person's still wondering what you're up to. And I feel like this person that's blocking you, Aquarius, or if you're doing, you know, take it how it resonates. I feel like someone here is at a place where it's like, I'm pushing you away, Aquarius, but I'm still focused on you, which, yes, I know it doesn't make any sense. But I feel like this person just creates distance between you guys. They put up barriers. They put up space. It's like, I care about you. I love you. I felt the connection, but I'm going to avoid it and block it. And I feel like for some of you guys that are possibly in like a friends with benefits type of relationship, I feel like you guys are ignoring the feelings, but the feelings are there. All right. Someone's thinking about this and someone's someone's just in a place of fear, right? Fear that you're possibly going to find something out, a fear that you are going to escape. All right. I do feel like someone here keeps running away keeps running away and I feel like you became tired of it because it's like I know this connection's here we both feel this connection we both feel this love um but for some reason you're fighting it off and you're afraid to to love you're afraid to come forward you're afraid to communicate I feel like this person had a lot of like false promises it's like they already knew that they weren't ready for something serious, but they tried, right? They, they tried, but for some reason they tried because they were very attracted and they loved your energy. Something about your energy they truly loved, but I feel like now they're at a place where it's like they're feeling that you're moving away. You're avoiding them. You're no longer wanting to deal with their drama. You're no longer wanting to deal with, you know, um, Their lies. I'm like, what is what I'm hearing actually? Someone possibly lied about some something or lied about being with someone or lied about someone's very jealous too. Yeah. It's okay. This could be dealing with a Pisces. But I feel like someone here is at a place where they constantly put this relationship on hold purposely. Right? And um it's always like, is this over? 
I feel like you guys are always asking yourself, like, is this over? Is this past relationship over? I feel like someone here is not able to get over their past. They're still holding on to their past. Okay, but I feel like a lot of you guys are walking away from this. You're trying to let go of this as much as you can. But I feel like you're in a place where it's like, as I was trying to let go, I actually found myself in a place of where I'm healing now. I'm healing and I'm actually transitioning and I'm letting this go. And I've actually met someone new, right? I'm actually going out on dates. I'm actually um, having a good time now, but this person's always on my mind. And I feel like a lot of you guys are intuitively feeling like I know you're watching me, right? Because I feel like this person wants, they want you, but I don't feel like they're admitting it. Okay, for some of you guys, you guys see like calls coming in, just weird sorts of communication that kind of throws you off. Like they do the weirdest things, like the way they communicate with you. It's like, that was random, right? They'll FaceTime you out of nowhere or, you know, and then block you and then just go ghost. It, it, it's very strange. I feel like this person's like having a mental battle. For some of you guys, you found out this person's in another relationship and you didn't vocalize it to them. And now they're wondering if you know. And if you do know, do you still care about them? Do you still want them? Are you moving on, you know? So all these thoughts are in this person's mind with, you know, smoking or, or whatever they do to try to distract their thoughts okay whatever they're doing to distract their thoughts because i feel like this person's at a place where it's like they do not want to let go of this relationship they can't this connection is very intense some of you guys may have children with this person and that's the only reason why you do communicate with this person but i get an energy of this person just avoiding this relationship it's like they'll try to do other things. They'll try to, um, you know, travel. They'll, they'll try to watch binge on shows, whatever they're doing. They're trying to get you out of their mind. But for some reason, it's not the easiest thing for them at this time. All right. I'm being told to pull out another card here. Yeah. For some of you guys, you may feel like, I don't know. I feel like for some of you guys are going to run into this person. But it's like in September. Exhaustion, yeah. I feel like you guys are tired. You're tired of the the back and forth, the trying to figure this person out. It's really draining. It's like one moment I believe this person's good, you know, we're fine, everything is good, and the next moment this person is just in a place where um they're acting as if they're very unstable, they're not sure what they want. But it all boils down to fear, right? And I feel like this person's projecting their energy onto you where they're exhausted themselves, right? They want something serious, but the fear of feeling love again like they did in the past, in their past marriage, this person may be divorced, this person may have been in a long-term relationship, and now they're not wanting to go into that again because of all the pain, Okay, so I feel like they're avoiding that. But in the midst of that, they're actually losing you. And I feel like, you know, that's an extra layer of fear that they have to deal with now. Yeah. Okay. So I feel like a lot of you guys are just silent, right? I feel like you're feeling like you're misunderstood. You're feeling like this person doesn't really understand what they're doing to your time and your energy. Okay, because I feel like this person's very aloof. Um, and they don't really express themselves that much, themselves that much. And you're at a place where it's like, why is this p person like not understanding that this bothers me? You know, because you feel like this person has a very close understanding or a very close connection with you and they understand everything else. But for some reason, when it comes to your emotions towards them, they try to brush that under the rug or they're not really wanting to communicate about that. But I see a lot of you guys just moving away, taking your energy, taking your, yeah, just taking your energy away and just really focusing on yourself and avoiding this overall. And I do feel like it's very painful for a lot of you guys to do. And I feel like this is just depleting you, to be honest, because you have so much love for this person. And I feel like when you met this person, it was like, you know, like, this is my person right here. Like, it was like that love at first sight, right? The connection was crazy. Everything was great. What else do we have here? Spirit? Death card again. Yeah. Someone's, you guys are really ending this. And this person knows that. 
This person knows that. This person may be trapped in something else. And I feel like to some extent you guys are trapped too. Just because it's like... It's like I know there's a... You know, I know there's love here. But there's just so much games. There's so much back and forth. And if this person's with another woman or another man. I feel like you're at a place where you're just like... I really don't want to deal with someone that constantly lies. So not only are you lying, but you're holding back. That's just way too much. Right? Yeah. And I feel like you guys are just at a point where it's like, I'm just going to let this end. But for some reason, this person's not allowing me to end this. This person's still in my energy. This person's still trying to contact me. Acting as if we're friends. Acting as if we're buddies. Acting as if nothing happened. And I'm tired of it. I'm tired of this person not putting my feelings into consideration. Yep. But I feel like this person wants you so bad. It's just like they're not saying it. They're not saying it. They don't. What else do we have here, Spirit, for my Aquarius? Yeah. They're moving very slow. Right? Moving very slow. They have a lot of love for you. A lot of love for you here. And... It's, it's like a battle. It's really like a battle. And I feel like this person doesn't understand that you are going to end this if they continuously, you know, remain in this place where they're not opening up. Because I feel like you don't want to be in a relationship where you're dealing with someone that constantly plays with your mind, even if they're doing it intentionally or not. Um, but as they're playing with your mind, they're also... Um, you know, introducing games and lies and other parties. So now you're at a point where it's like, oh no, like there's just too much going on here and I deserve better. I deserve someone that really brings in that ace of swords. And I do feel like for some of you guys, there is a new person coming in, but I feel like you guys may be very skeptical and scared as well because it's like the last thing I've been through and I'm not sure if I really want to move into this you know some of you guys may just be going through a divorce at this time where you're removing yourself from anybody that constantly doesn't care neglects ghost is selfish is is just not giving you the love that you deserve you're just at a point where it's like I deserve love and this isn't love although you feel love but you're not expressing love it's just too much for me and this journey has been a long journey for some of you guys. It's like extremely long journey. What else do we have here for my Aquarius? Yeah. So this person's in a place of regret. I feel like you... Why does it keep falling? I keep on falling. This person right here, guys, I feel like they're still stuck on a past situation. Someone here is like... They hide a lot of pain. They hide a lot of things from you from themselves as well because I feel like they don't want to deal with it they're avoiding their their pain from past relationships they're not wanting to confront those uh issues but moving forward they just want to remain protected you know what I mean and I feel like when they do stuff like that they're honestly I don't know because I feel like this person was manifesting you right this person was manifesting this new love and when you came it's like oh thanks universe but for some reason I, you know, I'm not ready. What else do we have here, Spirit? And I feel like for some of you guys, this person's like, when you text them, they won't answer. Yeah. So I feel like you guys moving forward, you guys are honestly just focusing on stability, whether it's financial stability, whether it's, you know, I'm going to focus on my academics, I'm going to focus on things that actually um, are worth my time and I could invest in like things that make sense. I'm going to focus on my family as well, right? My home. I want to move into a new place. I want to move to a new state. I want to do different things. I want to get out of this energy of being stuck because I feel like you guys really feel like, yeah, see, you guys are just wanting to be single at this time. Like, I want to just be stable, financially stable, mentally stable. I want to embrace my um, my goals. Like, I really want to focus on that. And my focus has been off a little bit, right? Focus on my children. Focus on um, my bills, <laughs> right? I want to focus on my bills, my growth. 
And I feel like a lot of you guys are doing that. And I feel like this person's wondering, like, why is Aquarius no longer, you know, feeding this relationship anymore? And it's like more so it's not that I love I don't love you. I love you, but I have to focus on myself now. Because the universe is, is giving me so many signs that I need to move on here with the death card. I need to move on. I need to trans, you know, I need to transform. I need to allow growth into my life because I feel like for some of you guys, this person ended things with you, whether they rejected you and it was like a blessing in disguise, you know, and it really hurt. It really hurt when you found out this person was in another situation or another relationship. It really did. But now it's like, it's all right. I'm actually able to focus on other things. For some of you guys, this person's actually coming out of a relationship. And I feel like this person is now in a place where they possibly want you back. Okay, that's for some of you guys. For some of you guys, I feel like this person now all of a sudden they want a commitment. You know, let me know how that person puts uh, put, puts that into words. I feel like they're going to have trouble actually putting that into words because I couldn't even say it. But I feel like someone here is in a place where they actually want to put an end to the games and they want to move into the stable place with the single Aquarius or, you know, take it how it resonates, whatever your sign may be. But I feel like someone wants to put an end to the games because I feel like they had to lose you in order to get into a place of, oh my God, I'm about to lose somebody that I actually really, truly loved. Okay. And I feel like that's what this person's overthinking. It's like they have to make a decision. I do feel like it's going to be slow, but I do feel like this person is going to have to make this decision because this is what they want. They want stability with this amazing nine of pentacles here. Okay take this how it resonates let's get a message from the universe here wow yeah somebody is possibly getting a divorce too or coming out of a relationship you guys possibly found out that they were in a relationship and they're coming out of it but i feel like for some of you guys it's like yeah just because you're available now doesn't mean i'm just gonna you know take you in with open arms and no no because i feel like someone wants another chance with you aquarius but I'm not sure if you're going to be, I feel like you're going to set boundaries. You're going to set barriers for this person. And I don't think they know that yet. But yeah, I mean, with games, there's results, right? Okay, so Spirit, what is the message here for my Aquarius? Medicine woman, you are a channel for divine healing. You guys are setting trends. I feel like a lot of you guys, you know, once you met this person, I feel, I feel like you guys honestly put this person in a place where they started really having to work on themselves. Okay. And yes, they've done a lot of things to hurt you, but I feel like you guys are in a place where not only are you healing Aquarius, but this person's also moving into a place of healing themselves either, um, as well. Yeah. You guys are really healing right now because I feel like this person really, really, truly hurt you. What else do we have here, spirit? Quiet time. Take some quiet time alone to rest, meditate, and contemplate. Yeah, you guys are in healing mode. Enough with the games. Allow yourself to receive. This will increase your intuition, energy, and ability to give to others. Yeah. Definitely. So I see a lot of you guys definitely manifesting and just meditating and allowing the divine to help you heal and move out of this place. Because I don't, I see like a lot of you guys do not want to move into your next chapter or your, you know, your next relationship with this energy. It's like, I don't want to do this. I don't want to fear love. I don't. I hope that this past person heals. I hope we're able to work things out. And if not, you know, I'm thanking the divine for this, um, for this journey. I hope this resonated for you guys. I will talk to you guys soon. Have an amazing month. Bye.